Hey guys, Targo Cyclone FPV, and I've been working, my wife and I actually, Sam and I have been working all day, uh, and now we're headed into the night here, and um, I finally got a laptop. I had one of my gaming laptops that my son uses, and I'm like, you know what? I think it's time I take that sucker back. So I have it, and now we're moving fast again. And I'll have a new computer here, or repair the one that broke, uh, so that we're not delayed so much, but for right now, let's get to it, okay? So I've got a, um, I've got this here. Let me show you. Uh, if I can get the darn thing to come up on the screen. There we go. Boom. There we go. This is what I'm working on right now. This is actually the one that I sold the customer, and it's now made its way back to me in very little time. Uh, it's, he says it's bricked. So what we're going to do is we're going to give this a shot and see what's going on with it. So let me, um, let me plug in the cable here. Now, because I went to another computer, all the OpenTX stuff I did on the last one today which took me an hour or so, is gone, but that's okay. I've got OPTX loaded and I will get this part set up as well. So first thing we're gonna do is let's head on over to the, um, and well, anyways, what you can do is if you press the power button, I can see it light up, the button, will, the, the button lights up but nothing happens here. So here's what we're gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and give you the screen to look at here. And we're gonna open OpenTX. Okay, and thankfully this computer's gonna fly. This is one that I made, this is a laptop that I designed. Uh, that I added to, and this has a solid state 500 gig uh, hard drive. Um, it's got, uh, what, ooh, let me see. You know what, I don't remember how much RAM it has. Let me see, I'm, now I'm curious, but it moves. This sucker is flying, so I don't have to wait any longer, and that's what I'm used to. Uh, it does have an i7 chip, a GTX GeForce NVIDIA card. Um, this was actually done for my, uh, my 3D imaging. Uh, the laser scanner that I had. And I don't have that anymore. So yeah, we're running 16 gigs uh, of RAM though. Uh, 64 bit. Okay, so that's right. Anyways, so let's get to it. Uh, ignore this version? No. What I'm going to do is I'm going to settings, radio profiles, add a radio profile, and we're going to do, we get to typing here. We're going to go, oh, this is moving so much faster. I might actually get all my work done today. So this is going to be a um, FRSKY. X10S Express, okay? So we're gonna come down here and we're gonna find the, uh, let me see, X10S uh, Express, all right? Yep, there we go. And we'll use Noheli, Lua, Flex, leave everything else the same. I'm gonna select a folder and now I'm gonna have to create this again. So let's go to the um, downloads and we have this here and I'm gonna go ahead and make a new folder I'll transmitter. Oh my God, I can't believe I have to do this again. Uh, one day I will learn my lesson and then another new folder and this will be called um, FRSKY X10S Express. Okay, and then in here, we know already that we're gonna be making a FRSKY TX dash firmware. Um, yep, and we're gonna make a new folder FRS, FRSKY, um, RX dash firmware. Make a new folder called OpenTX dash firmware. And we're going to need a folder called SD card. I might as well go ahead and just get all this done right now. And we're going to need a, another folder called backup. Okay. There. Might as well get all that out of the way. And we also know we're going to use one called zip files. Okay, so now we're ready to go and we're gonna go ahead and select this as the SD card folder. We're gonna come back and we're gonna select this as our backup folder. We're gonna put a check mark here, check mark here, check mark here. Go to application settings, make sure all this is right. Go to select folder and I'm zooming through this because this is not a lesson on how to set this up. If you need help with that, check out one of the videos that I've got already. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and tell the check for update. So let's check for update, shall we? And it's gonna say it's never been downloaded. Yes, we wanna download it. So we're gonna go ahead and download it and we're gonna go to our downloads folder. Go to our drone files, go to our transmitter, go to X10S Express. And we're gonna go to OpenTX firmware and we're gonna put it here, except the only thing is we're going to try to shrink the name down so we know it's English. Uh, we don't need that. You know, we know no Helena, we know all that. So let's just go ahead and let's just do it like this. There, let's save that. It's gonna download very quickly. It's gonna ask us to update and we're gonna say no because the radio is not plugged in right now. So watch me say no. The other thing I learned today was when we did the OpenTX download, the SD card content from their website, it took 44 minutes. When I did it from here, it took 13 seconds. So that was a big waste of time. I'm gonna click no right here. I'm gonna go ahead and say download SD 
contents. Let's hope it goes just as fast. Ready? Watch. Here goes. Uh, no, it sucks right now. So I guess everybody's downloading again. I have no idea. But we're going to download the SD card contents here. Okay. Uh, that is not uh, critical right now to us doing this work, though, because I'm assuming the SD card contents are already on here. I have a feeling that something is wrong with the bootloader, but we're going to find out very quickly. So let's go ahead and um, take this, uh, take the radio, and I'm going to show you what we're going to do here. So let me, let me just split the screen, make this bigger. Uh, click OK. Let's make this bigger right here. And we're going to do a split screen, okay, just like this. There we go. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this back piece down or out so I can plug into it. I'm going to just go ahead and I'm going to plug directly in. Now, there's a good chance that the drivers for this radio are not loaded on this computer. Okay, so there it is. It says it's setting up the STM bootloader. I don't know if you can read that, but uh, that's what it says right here. So we're going to see if it can even be read. may have to run the Zadig on this one. And I may just go ahead and plan to put that on as well. So hold on a second. Uh, I've got all these files now available on our website so that I don't have to sit there and look for it anymore. So if I go to software links and I go Zadig right here, so I can get there and I'm going to go ahead and click download that. Now they have these advertisements. I don't know when that started, but that sucks. I hate looking at these things. And this download's gonna take forever. And I assume they're intentionally making me wait for the download to start for this. Uh, so if we could just please hurry up. This really also is kind of a joke. I'll click close. Oh, I see, you have to get close at least to make it start. What a big waste. Let me go show in folder here. Uh, let's find this. Let's. Let's go ahead and wait for it to get done. Okay, we're going to cut this and we're going to put it under our drone files right here. New folder. And we're going to type Z A D I G O A D I G. Enter. Okay. And we're going to put it in here. Click paste. Okay. Perfect. Now we're good with that. Uh, and then we can close this down. All right. This is still downloading at a snail's pace. I don't know if I click it again, maybe it'll go faster. No, probably not, but I figured we'd try it anyway. Let's try it again. Let's try it. Oh no, that's definitely not working. Let's just click cancel there. Okay, so now that we've got this, let's go back to OpenTX and let's go to our firmware. And we're gonna pretend like we're gonna write this to the radio. So go ahead and write to TX. Not check firmware from radio, okay. So uh, flashing done. All right, so chances are we need to run the Zadig driver on this one. Let's go ahead and go to our run. Let's go to our control panel. Let's go to device manager. God, thank God this thing's moving fast again. Okay, and what we're gonna do here, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I could run, I haven't loaded the STM32 drivers yet. I'm gonna see if I can just get away with using Zadig and that's it. Let's go ahead and open this up, click yes. Uh, do I want to allow Zadig to check out? Yeah, sure, why not? Whatever. Okay, now I'm going to go there and I'm going to tell it to go ahead and install driver. I've clicked it once. Now it will sit there a while and look like it's not doing anything, but it is going to move. I don't know if you can read that or not, though, but let's just hope you can. Okay. All right, now we have our STM32 bootloader down here. We should see this be good here to go. I'm gonna see if I can read. Hold on, I'm gonna try. Oh, you know what? I can't. It's not live. Guess we'll find out real quickly, guys. If this one doesn't come out like this, and I'll check it out, then we'll know not to do side by side anymore. Ooh, look at it go. Look at that, we're riding. All we have to do is run the Zadig on there. Gotta love it. So we're gonna hopefully be able to flash this and see if we can get out of brick mode. We're gonna find out very quickly. I think the Zadig's still okay, there we go. So it's done, so we'll close that down. So those are our STM32 bootloader right there. We're gonna let this run right now and let's see if we can get this out of here. That looks like it's gonna take a while as well. Everything download wise, let's see, how are we doing? Okay, that one's canceled. This one's still coming, so we can get rid of this one. I guess not. Okay. I cannot believe we're running back to normal speed again. This is heaven, folks. All right. Go back to OpenTX. 
here. Peel it off. This was my radio actually. This is the demo that I opened just to check this out. And the gentleman bought it for me. I never peeled that piece of plastic off. That's the fun part. Okay. What else we got? We got a few more of left. We got a lot of work. Okay, let's click close. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and disconnect to see if we have any, any, anything better has gone. Look at that. Can you believe that, guys? There we go. So we have a storage warning, bad radio data, press any key. We're gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and do the calibration. And we're gonna center the sticks, center everything. Okay, those are centered, those are centers, that's centered. Hit enter, and move the sticks. Uh, we should have something on the screen here. I'm a little surprised that we don't see anything on the screen here. Yeah, this screen is all messed up. So this is uh, this is all kinds of screwed up. But we're going to try to fix all of it here. Excuse me a second, because I need those. I need that download to happen too. So. So let's do this. Let's go ahead and turn this off now. Okay, and let's go ahead and there we go. Now we're gonna plug this back in. Uh, X10 Express. So he didn't use the X10S Express. Uh, so let's go ahead and just see what happens here. We're gonna go ahead and plug this in. Okay, and we're gonna go back to our setup here. And you know what? This just in case, I'm a little worried that this is gonna work. Uh, that it may not be able to be read properly. So let me just do it like this, okay? And so here we go. Uh, what happens when we move the items, I don't care. What I care about right now is that we're gonna actually write the firmware to the radio, and here we go. Okay, we're gonna click close. Now, one of the things that we want to look at is we want to see what has happened on his thing here. So we have a new volume here, and he has, what is this? I don't even know what this is. Let me see what's on here. I'm very curious to see what he's done here. X10 boot. You know what, I'm not even going to mess with it. I don't even know what he's doing. What I do know is that um, we need to get the download here of his files, and we are 11 minutes left to it. So let's just hang tight for that. And now what we can do, though, is we can go ahead and eject this again. Okay. And we can dis disconnect. Okay. And then we're going to go to exit. Now we'll swap the screens here now. Okay. And let's just hit exit. Okay, throttle warning. Okay. Where is it now? Okay. Hmm. Let's go to system. He's got nothing. I mean, nothing is loaded. All his 
Uh, let's see. No way. Okay, so. Not running mode one, you're running mode two. Um, let's see what has happened here. At least the date's working, everything else there is fine. But you're running mode two. Keep going, keep going. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're just going to wait for our download to go. I'm just checking everything out to see what else we got. And it uh, looks like you just tried to load some software that shouldn't have been on here, some versions that shouldn't have been on here. But right now, the big thing is, is how much longer do I have to wait for the software? So it says we're going to wait 12 minutes. This sucks. Um, hey, babe, his radio's back on, by the way. So uh, I don't know what he's, I mean, there's been software loaded on here. It shouldn't have been, but uh, he's missing a lot of things. Um, so anyways, but at least we're, we're getting it fixed. You alright, babe? Yeah, I just went upstairs to hold Buddy for a little bit. Oh, how's he doing? He's like, he's like, excuse me, the previous kiss is normally not that active. He was like swirling, like swirling up my arm and like curling around my wrist. Hey, like, he's getting comfy with you maybe. Well, except for I was like, I don't know. <laughs> he felt, felt a little tight. <laughs> Oh yeah? Yeah. He's ready to uh ready to kill? <laughs> like a bracelet. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. But no, he was he was fine, he was cute. Okay. So I think while we're doing this, um one thing that I am gonna do is let's head on over to Free Sky's website. Because uh I have this feeling I'm gonna need some software from there too. So let me get this radio out of the way. Yes, I'm gonna put my keyboard back on the table here. Now let's go to FR Sky RC. Down a little of those. That's what he did. He tried to load the beta version. That looks very much like what was in his folder. I wouldn't mess with it, man. Just leave it like it is. This is OpenTX right here. Yeah, I wouldn't mess with it very much right now. I would just leave it where it is if you can. And if not, if you want to go back to this version, that's fine, but we have to go and uh, get everything loaded again. And so it's not easy. Uh, you have to follow some certain instructions on this one to get this ready. And, and part of it's going to be your SD card contents right here. So um, let me see. All right, so anyways, I'm going to go to the downloads folder real quick. Uh, because what we have here is we have the ISRM updates as well. And there should have been three. Where's the third one? I could have sworn I clicked on all three. All right, which one's missing? 
Let's see, we have 2.0, 2.0. Oh, we're missing this one. Okay, there it is. So we're going to take these three right here. Okay. And uh, I think what would be cool. Let's see if this will work. Let me see. I'm going to switch the screen real quick in case passwords come flying up here. Uh, so bear with me one second. I'm sorry, but I always want to make sure I can get into our website real quick. I need to use one of those authenticator things real quickly. uploading a lot of these files to our website so I don't have to keep digging for them anymore. So I'm just going to upload the files and if you'll give me a second this way, go ahead and do that. All right, once those are done, still waiting for our download to finish here, uh, but it's happening. So let's just give it a second. Okay, and then what I'm going to do, hey, hey, sorry. come on, I'm so sorry. Come so on, I'm boo. Okay, no problem. This one time I let it happen, man. Okay, we're gonna go software link. I'll show you what I'm doing here in just a second. But for right now, let's just do this. Uh, add menu item. And I'm gonna put the uh, X10, X10. Uh, actually, I can show you this, I don't mind. It's part, look, see, Forest X10 S Express. I think if I put that there, oh, let's see. Uh, let's put a hashtag. How many am I in on that? I think. Let me see. So if I, I'll if I click add. And then I wonder. So I'm one in here, one in, and I think I can add one more then. So let's just do ISRM. Sorry, what was it called? 1.1.3. Okay. And we are going to link it to here. So let's copy this. Go here. Paste. I wonder if it'll work. Add. But then I want it to come in one, right? Will it do that? No, it won't. See, it'll only sit. It won't give me a third. Darn it. So I guess I'm gonna have to do it like this. I'll just do Horus X, X 10 S Express ISRM, there we go. Let's just do apply changes. Get rid of this one, move, and then let's click save. All right, our download is still going by the way. So I'm just gonna add these links so that in the future, we have a faster way of getting the things that we need. So under free sky, now we're gonna add another one First, let me just copy that. Now we're going to add this one. Uh, and that is going to be version 2.1.0. And let's put our link here because I put that right here. going to be this one. So I'm going to put that right here. See that? Now in the future, if we start organizing like this, man, we won't have to do anything. Everything will be right on our site, ready to go. Look at that. Perfect. So I'm going to click save. Okay. Now, if you go to our website, check this out. This is going to be cool. Go all the way down to software downloads or software links. Free sky. And then look at that. Uh, where are the rest of them? It must have been updating. Let 
See, now we can just click here and get them instead of having to go to the website. I'm all about this. <sighs> okay, anyways, that is... Oh, our SD card is almost done. It says we have two minutes left, guys, so we're almost there. Now, in the meantime, let's head on back over to our folder, okay, which is right here. And we are going to take these, and we are going to uh, copy them or cut them. And we are going to go to our drone files. Go to OpenTX. Nope, nope, nope. We're going to go to our transmitter and our FreeSky Express. Then we're going to go to, you see where we have FreeSky uh, and we have zip files, right? So I'm going to go ahead and actually drop these in here, paste. And then I'm going to say extract all, and they don't need to show the extracted files. And excuse me, because that is my son. So let me see which one it is. Oh, my son's going to bed. Good night, my boy. He will live you tons and tons. my boy landed. All right, so I only, I guess it only extracted one, so let me go ahead and extract the next one. Okay, finish, and then we'll extract the last one. Okay. Yes, all right, now, each one of these has another folder in it. Look at that. I don't know what they're doing, but this is a big file right here, so we're just gonna say, uh, we're gonna take this one, and we're gonna cut that, and I'm gonna open a new file folder right here. Mm -hmm. And we're going to go to drone files, transmitters, this, and then TX. And we're going to paste that here. Okay. There's one. I'm going to go back to zip files. I'm going to go here, here. Okay. So we only have to get one up on this one. Let's cut this. Over here, we'll just drag this to here. Okay. And let's go up one again. And we're going to go back here. That's two point. Where's my two point? What did you say um, the amount was for this guy? Um, Which radio? one? The the radio? Yeah. Uh, forty five. All right. Thank you. That's it, right? Is not shipping. He has to pay shipping. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We can put that here, and then we can go back to our zip files and get rid of anything that's not a zip file. Okay. So we're gonna take these and delete them. There you go. We've got our zip files left and that's it. And we've got all of our stuff here sitting in the FreeSky DX. Oh, okay. Now, how's our download doing? Let's go to it and see. I think it should be done and it is. So let's go and show that in the folder. And then we're gonna go ahead and close this. Let's go to our folder. And we are gonna go to our downloads and here it is right here. That's the Horus X tennis. So we're gonna cut this and go here and we're gonna go here, and we're gonna go here, and then zip file, okay? And we're gonna paste that right here. All right, and we're gonna extract it. Let that run, it's a pretty big file, so it's gonna take just a minute. we're getting there this is the process I can't make it go any faster it used to be because I had a slow computer but now it's just a lengthy process I guess we're done. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna head on back over, go to our zip file. Here's our SD card contents. We're gonna get in here and we're gonna take out the sounds, remember? 
So we're going to delete everything except English, right? And we're going to delete those because there's a few thousand files in there. Look at that. All right. Now with that done, we're going to highlight the contents. We're going to right click and click cut. And we're going to go up to our X10 Express, go to our SD card folder and right click and click paste. We're going to move all of that into there. Now we're going to go back, take our three folders that we created. We're going to cut those and we're going to go to SD card, go to firmware and go to paste. Now we have all our firmware, everything is categorized properly. Look at that, everything is here like it's supposed to be. Okay. And this SD card is ready to be written to the radio. So now we're gonna come over here. We're gonna take the radio. Here it is. We're gonna turn it off. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Where is the box for this guy? Which guy? Is oh, it's over here. Oh. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm gonna just get everything. Box stuff when we I forgot I had a box. My apologies. There you go. I'm waiting for people to pay. Wait, what's in What's that? I don't even know why this. Is, oh, that's what I sent him. Mm -hmm. Okay. Phew. Okay. There you go. You can put those back into the bottom. My, my fault. Okay. okay. So now what we're going to do is let's go ahead and get this ready. So we're going to get this ready just like this. There we go. We're going to take our plug. Plug it in the back. Okay. And what I'm going to do here, there it goes. So I'm going to wait to see what he's got on here now. So we've got our new volume. I'm not going to worry about the models folder. I think what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to want to make sure uh, that. Hmm. Let me see how I want to handle this here. So I'm going to... See if I can do this. I'm not sure this is going to work, but I want to try at least. And it could very well fail. This could very well fail, but... I want to see if I can get these files off of here because I'm not sure exactly uh, uh, the, um, okay. And it should be now, this is the file. I don't know what this line. Let me open that and make sure. I don't know what's going on. I'm just going to take all these files off. Okay, now there's this is not following the instructions that would have come normally with the radio. Uh, and we're going to see if we can fix that real quickly. But let me just get to software downloads. Where is my, where's my drive? Software downloads. Uh, hey, Sam, mm -hmm. can you give me the... Um, Seven two eight four. We're gonna make a new folder called RMA seven two eight four. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go here and we're gonna click paste. We're gonna just move his files over to here if possible. Alright, I am done. No, I'm not. I am done. How can you be done if I'm not done? I am That is not how it works, woman. Done uh... Oh. Mm, okay, I was just making sure you were going to do your duties. <laughs> just kidding. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Okay, goodbye. Okay, I love you. Love you. Um, this person has to go next. Huh? This person has to go What do they need? Next. Just to check it out? Uh, regulator could be damaged. Regulator. Regulator. But they, yeah, no. they, it has to be done by Friday. Was this guy from Texas? Yes. Oh, he, he said it? When did he get here? A little while ago? Oh, uh, yeah, a while ago. But he's going on vacation, so he wants to pick it up before, because I think we had originally had said, like, we'll be able to ship it back, but with the computer breaking down. Yeah. Just okay, so when's he need it by? Uh, I think he's leaving for vacation Friday or Saturday. He wants to pick it up on his way out. Oh, he's going to come by? Mm -hmm. Okay, right on. Yeah. I'll get it taken care of for him. Okay. Thank you, madam. You're welcome. You want uh, this? I'm going to shut this door, actually, just because the dogs. That's fine. Okay. Okay.
All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and um, now we're going to do the uh, uh, SD card because we're ready to go with that. So we're going to go ahead and click this right here, which is going to be our synchronized button. I guess I can just make it this way, make it a little easier so you guys can see it. So we're taking from this and we're going to go ahead and use the E volume, select folder, and we're going to click start. And this is going to go ahead and synchronize uh, the files. Cannot sit here and just watch this do this. At least I can clean up some stuff. All right, look at the stuff copying over. Beautiful. Beautimus. Let's put this back up here. Go here. Well, guys, it has been, I will tell you right now, it has been one hell of a week. All right, the next two weeks are going to be pretty intense. So please just have patience. I know this is a very important um, hobby or business for many of y'all. Um, it is for me too. And I promise you that if I could do things faster, I would. But sometimes things just get in the way. You know, so just hang in there with me, please. I promise you I'll make it up to y'all. For anybody that I've run delayed on, it's not normal, but we do have a lot of family stuff coming up. Uh, and I have to be prepared. All right, so anyways, here we go. Uh, we're scanning, 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 let's go. Um, everything good out there, Mama? Mm -hmm. Did it rain today? Mm. Okay, everything's locked up. All right, hon. I love you. I love you. We doing popsicles? Yeah, after I take my bath. Is the gate closed? Yeah. Thank you so much. So we have popsicles every night. That's what I'm talking about. Everything's closed. That's right. That's right. How's this thing doing? It's taking I'll so see long. see it in an hour and a half. For reals? I have laundry to fold too. Dang, yeah. girl. Okay. All right, I love you. Love you. Thanks for all your help, mama. All right. You're welcome. Yeah, I'm going to go. Thank you for all your help. That didn't sound very nice at all. I was going to say thank you for all that you do. Because you don't really help me, except for like you help me by doing all the stuff that you do. But you like, you're like backpedaling out of that comment. That's <laughs> a side ass backwards. Thank you for all that you do. Oh, you're so welcome. I love you. Bye. Bye. Okay, so here we go. So we've got our files done. So let's close that. Okay, and now what we're going to do is we're going to eject again. And then, uh, okay, and then we're going to eject one more time. And we're going to eject. That's it. Okay, now let's pull out the plug here. Let's go ahead and make this just like that. And then let's click exit. Please, we can only pray it works. Storage warning. Bad radio data pressing key. Welcome to OpenTX. Hey, it's, 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 hey, look at that. We got our graphics back. I mean, this is legit, man. Here we go. So let's go ahead and calibrate. Man, I am so pumped to see this back to normal. Okay. We went from dead to uh, alive. Here we go. Everything is centered. So now let's go ahead. Now we can watch. Uh, okay. All right. Let's get that centered. We're going to take our dials here and spin them back and forth all the way, all the way, all the way, all the way. Put them to center, all the way, all the way. This is working like a champ, okay? That's what I'm talking about, guys. Y'all don't understand. I know what I'm doing, yeah! Perfect. Hit enter. I mean, we are in heaven. Now watch this. All my icons are back at the top now. I mean, everything's working like a champ now. Look, we got our firmware. We got our folders line, and we can go. We can go down the line here, and we can go to our. Uh, uh, I think the internal is not going to show anything because everything's off. But let's just go back, and let's just make a model, okay? And let's go ahead and turn the internal. Mm, sorry, I skipped it. So let's do internal. And let's turn it on. 
Okay, we have ISRM access. Okay, so let's turn that on. And then we can do D16. So let's exit. And now let's go and see what version we're running. Check this out. Bam! Running 2.1.6. So this has been updated with the newest firmware, the newest ISRM firmware. This couldn't be any better. So I'll tell you what. I am extremely excited about how this went because we went from a radio that would just blink to now a radio that is running perfectly. It's got all the SD card contents loaded properly on it. It's got all the files on it it needs. All the graphics came back. The calibration worked. Battery's working good. Everything is working perfect. This is a very expensive radio, and I know this customer wanted it to be perfect, and I'm gonna tell you right now, it is beyond perfect. It is brand new again, and I'm not even gonna peel the protective sticker off the, <laughs> off the screen. So there you go, guys. If you have any questions, as always, head on over to our Facebook groups page and join us there for some questions uh, and, and answer sessions. Uh, please as, uh, also uh, subscribe uh, to our YouTube channel. You just saw my kid, my kid was texting me. They watch this stuff and they just like to see if we're growing or if we have new viewers. It means a lot to me for them more than anything else. Um, besides, I told them that I would, you know, they have this boxing thing where you can fight one of the, like it's YouTube versus TikTok or whatever. And I told them if I get enough people and they let me fight, I'm going to go out there and fight be one of the oldest guys out there. So, hey, if you just want to see me get my butt whooped, at least subscribe. That, that's the best thing I can tell you. Um, other than that, guys, God bless, be safe, and most of all, go spend time with your family. I wish my kids were here today, and they're not, They, but they will be on Friday. So you guys who have your kids or your loved ones, your moms, your dads, your, everybody who's there with you, go enjoy it because you don't know how long you have. You don't know how much time you will have to enjoy it. So make the most of it. You can always find it later, guys. God bless, be safe, and most of all, thanks for your support. I appreciate it very much. See ya.